All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. This is Ellen Wynn. I am an independent agent and team leader with DAC. I've been with our company since June of 2018, and I'm super excited that you're here. You being a part of this call tonight means that you're probably on my team. I do have a few folks that join us from outside of this organization, but 99.9% .9 of the folks that join this team Zoom on Mondays are part of my organization. So I'm, I'm excited that you took time out of your evening to be here tonight, or if you're watching it on the replay, I appreciate you taking time to watch the replay. So I'm gonna get us kicked off like I always do. Let me get us into screen share mode and get our presentation slides up. If I can find the presentation, there we go. Hang on one second. I need to do something to my slides there. I had them up and then I took it off of the screen I wanted to start with. So let me get it back there. All right. Okay, let's try this once again. Screen share, and there's the one I want to start. All right. Get some of these items out of my way here so I can see everything. And my computer screen is not wanting to cooperate. One second here. I've got um, resolution issues going on with my computer screen. I think it's about time to get a new screen. Sorry about that. There it comes. It just solved itself. Okay, let's get back into screen share mode. It's what happens when you're live. There we go. All right, I can see Eugene. Eugene, you seeing my screen? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, awesome. Appreciate that. All right, guys, um, we start off every week with team recognition, and this is our top producers on our recruiting efforts here. And we're going to start with our number one through three spots. In first place, we had a tie between myself and Eric Johnson. Uh, each of us had eight new recruits each. Pam, if you can see, there's a blue button there. We still have people coming in, and they'll continue coming in for the next 15, 20 minutes, maybe even all the way to the end of the presentation. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, uh, Pamela Warnock is standing in as our co-host, our usual co-host, Harlequin Murray, is on the road traveling back from uh, a short extended vacation, uh, extended weekend, I should say, where she took some time off and uh, she is always here. So I really appreciate Pamela standing in tonight, or Pam standing in and letting folks into the waiting room. So um, from the waiting room. So here we have first place, Eric and I with eight recruits each. Uh, in second place, we had Michael Edmondson with three new recruits. In third place, we had a four-way tie with Eugene Clapp, Katwan Felder, Angela Richardson, and Chris Bartalis each had two new agent recruits each congratulations to you guys and with one new agent recruit apiece we had cx bauer amanda Brady, diana brown megan brown marilee and john ernestberg jackie evans Cheryl jc evans julian frelo uh, hodler capital group corey jackson anthony kentz lexi ramos jamara scott Laurel Smith, John Wallace, and Christopher White. Congratulations to each of you that had that one recruit for the week. And this is, I did not change the dates. This is actually for uh, the 30th through the 6th. I made a mistake and didn't change the recruiting dates there. So this is the leaderboard for September 30th through October 6th. All right. Last week, I recognized Pam, who is my co-host tonight, and I want to do that again because getting to DAC4 is a really big deal, guys. 
DAC4 is moving through the compensation plan to the highest level that you can make it on your own without building a team. Now, Pam is also building a team, but she gets to DAC4 on her own efforts. And I wanted to congratulate her again. She ended up having nine total fundings to get to DAC4. I went through a breakdown of that last week, but to get to DAC4, the requirement is that you have to have at least four new personal clients, new meaning that they've never received funding from DAC before, they're a new client to our company. And then you have to have a total of at least 40,000 in new funded value. So she had seven new clients with nine fundings altogether. The total of those just so happens some of the renewals were larger dollars that would have normally put her over 40,000, but uh, because they were a renewal, it didn't count towards that DAC4 promotion. So uh, really super excited that Pam hit that. She's been working. She has activity going on in her business every single day. Um, David mentioned her today on our Zoom where she had a client over the weekend that was needing some extra assistance. She copied David on that and um, he mentioned her in that process today because she's out here actively working. So congratulations, Pam, really proud of, of what you're doing here with the business. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about real quick in this recognition is talking about the matching bonuses. So everybody that's on the leaderboard has a new agent that is within their first 30 days in the business. And DAC has a fast start matching bonus incentive for those of us that are recruiting to help that new agent get a funded deal within their first 30 days. What does that mean? Well, if a new agent gets a funded deal in their first 30 days in the business, their enroller, as long as they are engaged, their enroller will earn a 50% fast start match on that new agent's commission, all right? Or, if their enroller is amped up, meaning you've had a funded deal within your past 30 days, if you're amped up, then that 50% gets doubled and you get 100% match on your new agent's commission. So essentially, if you help one of your new agents in their first 30 days earn $600 commission and you're amped up, you could also earn a $600 commission just for being the enroller of that new agent that gets a funded deal in their first 30 days and you're amped up and helping them guide them towards um, the right information in the system. When I say help, guys, it's a matter of just being an encourager and making sure that when they ask you questions, you're pointing them right back to the correct information, which is always the training or to an upline leader. If you don't know who your upline leader is, I'm your upline leader for all of you. You can certainly reach out to me. And if there's someone between me and you that um, I feel like you should be working with instead as your direct go-to person, then I'm going to direct you there. Otherwise, I'll be happy to work with you as if I personally enrolled you, okay? Because I am the leader of my business. And by being so, I help, help you guys all lead your business as well. Because y'all are all a part of my business. And your success is my success. All right, so let's talk about, I just said the 50% could be bumped up to 100%, but let's talk about being engaged and, and earning that enroller bonus. There's a recruiting incentive that David just announced today. We had this incentive going on back in July and August. And typically when we start back with school, we'll see some slowdown in, in the business building aspect here and we've seen it if you look at the recruiting uh, recognition that I just went through those numbers are different from the week before and they're way different from two or three weeks before right so our recruiting numbers as a team have gone down and I think the recruiting numbers as, as a company have gone down now let me clarify recruiting numbers is just new agents coming on board that doesn't mean that the business volume has gone down. In fact, our business volume has gone up as a whole for the company. I know my personal business volume has gone up, um, as you see Pam's has and many others on the team. <clears throat> Excuse me, get a drink of water here. But 
I'll get into a slide in a minute. We'll talk about why that is. But um, because our recruiting numbers are not growing as they should be, um, we, we feel like there are a lot of agents that are here that are no longer engaged. So let's talk about what's in the green square here and let's go through what the definition of engage is first, okay? So to be eligible to earn that matching bonus, I showed you the fast start bonus, right? That's, that fast start incentive doubles your bonus in the first 30 days, but you're generally going to earn a 25% match on uh, your personally enrolled agents. That's the enroller bonus. That's the standard commission. If you're amped up, then you earn double. You earn double of all your bonuses if you're amped up. But the standard engage or the standard matching enroller bonus is 25%. But you have to be engaged to be eligible to earn that. Okay. So there are three ways to qualify to be engaged. One, if you're new in the business and you're within 60 days of your start date from when you became an agent, you're automatically engaged. You get a 60 day pass or a 60 day window that you're automatically considered engaged and eligible to earn those bonuses. The second way you can get engaged is have a personally funded client in the past 60 days. So that, that 60 day window is always moving, it's a moving target, right? You get a funded deal today, which is the 11th. That means 60 days from now, you're, you're, fun, you're um, engaged for 60 days, right? It's a 60 day window. So October, November, December, you'd be engaged till December the 11th. The third way to be engaged is to go get some customer financing clients. Dawu talked today on the leadership call. He said he had like 11, I think, customer finance clients. Um, it's real simple to do. It's easy to do, but easy not to do. It's a matter of what your intention is and how many people you're talking to. But those customer finance clients on the books, if you have six of them, you're automatically engaged and you'll be engaged for life without having to have new fundings uh, any of that. If you keep six customer finance clients on the books, you'll always be eligible for that matching bonus and the team overrides that go along with you having a team and being considered engaged. So that's the definition. Let's talk about this fourth quarter promotion and the recruiting incentive. Um, so if you have been in the business over 60 days and you don't have a funded client and you don't have six personal fundings, uh, personal finance clients, customer finance clients, then you're not considered engaged and you're typically not eligible to earn overrides on your team or that matching bonus on your personally sponsored agents. But you're getting a pass here for fourth quarter. So October, November, and December, David has announced this recruiting incentive. Now, it won't be for existing agents that you've already recruited. This is going to be on new agents only. So for the month of October through December, any new agents that you recruit, whether you're engaged according to the compensation plan or not, you're gonna be eligible to earn that matching bonus, that fast start bonus as well on your new agents, but only in their first 30 days. So. Let me explain that. Let's say that, that you sponsor uh, both Jack and Jill, and then on all of the fundings that they both have, or either one independently have in their first 30 days, you'll be paid on as if you're engaged, qualified, even if you're not according to the, to the comp plan. So let's say that Jack has one funding, right, within his first 30 days, and let's say it is a $10,000 funding. How much money is Jack going to make on that? Well, Jack is automatically, he's a new agent. He's automatically going to make 3%. So he would make $300 on that 10 or on the $10,000 funding, right? He'd make $300. Well, as it's in his first 30 days, that is a fast start on that first funded deal that Jack does. So you as the enroller, could earn, would automatically earn 50% with this new promotion 
if you're just engaged, but if you're amped up, meaning you've already had a funded client of your own in the past 30 days, if you're amped up, you would get 100% match. So Jack earns 300, you're going to earn a minimum of 150. If you're amped, then you would earn 300 also. All right. Now, let's say Jack gets a second funded deal in his first 30 days. You're going to get paid on every one of those that get funded in the first 30 days. You're going to get the fast start only on that first deal, but you're also going to get paid that matching enroller bonus of 25 to 50%, depending on um, whether you're amped up or not. You're going to get it on every deal that Jack gets done in his first 30 days. Now, uh, David specified that the funding has to actually get funded in the first 30 days. It can't be that the process gets started on their 30th day and then they get funded a day or two later. It's got to happen. The funding has to take place in the first 30 days. OK, so um, make a note of this and go start recruiting agents. It's not hard to recruit, um, but it, it's not hard to do, but it's it's easy not to do. OK. So are you familiar with the 80-20 rule? Most people have heard this. You hear um, there's a sales commercial on radio here in Atlanta, and he talks about, you've heard about the 80-20 rule where 20% of the business gets done by 80% of the people in the sales team, right? Most of it's because of follow-up. Well, I, I'd rather say it's more of a 90-10 rule, and that's what I'm seeing here in our business. If you look at DAC as a whole, it's probably the 97-3% rule. What do I mean? Well, 10% of the business that is get, getting generated in my organization and in the company as a whole is being generated by, or 90% of the business is being generated by 10% of the agents, okay? So I invite you to be one of those 10 percenters, or in, in, in my case, really one of the three percenters, the 3% that produce 97% of the business because it all starts with intention. And David talked today about setting goals. So I wanna talk a little bit deeper about that tonight and talk about how you can make an impact on your own income by not just showing up and not just sitting back and watching and listening, but really engaging and taking notes. You know, today on the agent Zoom, I have four pages of notes that I took from what David was talking about on our leadership Zoom. And I take those notes every week just to go back and have something to reflect on, go back and study and make sure that I'm bringing um, important things to you guys. But as we talk about setting goals, it's easy to write down a goal on what it is that you want to accomplish. Goals need to be specific. They need to have a deadline, right? And I think a lot of times we miss that deadline. But if you have a goal written down, but you're not acting on that goal and acting with intent, then you're never going to achieve that. So um, I want to talk a little bit about what I do on a daily basis. And for those of you that have been with me a while, you've heard me talk about this. I get my day started by checking my back office. I go and, and look at the new agents who have been added to the team. I send out emails. I send out welcome texts. If it's not too early in the morning, I may schedule that text. I do that um, three times a day, at least in the morning, midday, and then late evening before I go to bed, I'll check those reports and send those messages out, right? That is my routine. It's something that has become habit for me um, because I'm intentional about build, building my business. And if I did not do those things and have those positive things built into my schedule, my business would just be kind of up and down, up and down, right? Because I'm not consistent with my activity. So I ask you tonight, what is it that you're doing on a daily basis that, that you could tweak? What is it that you're doing daily or not doing daily for your DAC business growth that you should be doing? What are things that you could be doing and should be and what is it that you actually are doing and what is it that you're not doing, but you should be that you know that you can put into a plan and start implementing that with intention, right? Because it's 
very clear if you're not communicating with clients in some form or fashion, if you're not reaching out to people, whether it be through phone calls, through text messages, through social media, through emails, through some type of marketing campaign, whether it be Craigslist ads or, um, you know, some folks are doing pay-per-click. You can spend a lot of money if you don't know what you're doing there, but there are lots and lots of reach out methods to attract customers to you. If you're not doing any of those, chances are you're going to have zero funding, right? If you're doing some of those, you may um, happen across someone that is looking for funding, but not be consistent with that. But if you start taking all out massive action towards the goal of finding business owners that need funding and with the intent of helping them, then you're going to find a stream of steady clients knocking on your door wanting more information about what it is that we do. So let's see, I'm going to take us off of screen share mode. I'm going to get over here and just talk to you guys and open up for some conversation and some questions um, if you have those. But again, having, having specific intent is important. David um, mentioned today, and he hasn't posted it in the Facebook group yet, but I've been recognized as agent of the month for October. I received that uh, invitation last Friday, and when I accepted it, I gave a quick response back, but then I had to go back and write a little bit more detail on my acceptance when Morgan um, asked me if I was willing to accept that. And going back to give a more in-depth um, explanation on it, I just didn't feel like I, I answered my uh, request uh, in enough detail. And that was, I didn't express my gratitude for DAC. And my gratitude is immense because this opportunity is immense. And I know there are a lot of people that are a part of our company that don't see what I see. So as a team leader, I want to help impart that upon you and help you see that vision because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm in the right company with the right leadership at the right time in the marketplace. David is constantly looking forward. He has cautiously built the platform to where we are today. Many of you on here tonight have been with the company now for a couple of years and, and you've seen those, those layers of services coming our way. When we launched Bank Breezy in May, it really was a game changer. I think there's another big game changer right around the corner for us. Um, I haven't heard that specifically, but I just have that feeling from some of the things that I'm seeing and hearing rumbling, rumblings of inside the corporate team. So I'm looking for that to come. I know David mentioned something a couple of weeks ago about, or I think Wade did actually, that we have something coming that's going to be great for business owners and for individuals. So um, I'm looking forward to that. But the best way for you to take advantage of something that makes a shift is to be prepared. And the best preparation you can be doing is recruiting a team, okay? Because the bigger your team is when something exciting happens inside the organization, the faster your personal business growth takes off, right? If it's just you and one or two other people, maybe maybe there's three of you all together. If it's just three of you and something gets launched, how fast can you guys go take advantage of it versus if it's you plus 300 people and then there's 301 on your team, right? The chances of you plus 300 or you plus two of exploding and really going into the marketplace and you personally being able to seize and take advantage of that moment is multiplied many, many times over if you it's you plus 300 versus you plus two, right? So that's what I wanna, want you to think about when we go into this recruiting blitz for the next three months is, my gosh, it's a free opportunity. All it costs you is a little bit of time in having conversations with people and taking some time to be intentional about what your goals are, writing them down, 
start setting a weekly goal and a monthly goal and see where you're coming up short. You want to you want to do create your plan, do act on your act on the plan, then go back and measure the results, right? And after you measure the results of what your actions were, go back and see if your actions um, equaled what your goal was, if you exceeded or underachieved on your goal, and then you want to adjust what those actions are. So do measure, adjust, and get yourself into that personal momentum. I stay busy no, no matter what my team is doing, right? I'm staying busy and I'm staying focused on what it is that I want to achieve here. But all of you guys having success is a part of my big picture for my business. So that's why I do the do the, the extra trainings, do the Zoom and make myself available to you guys when you need help and support because I have that bigger picture in mind. But I want you guys to put your business owner cap on and think like a business owner. Whether you ever have been or not, I want you to think about what is necessary to make your business operate every single day and being consistent with it. Um, my personal experience, I can always go back to my owning a restaurant career, uh, my, my career in the restaurant industry and when I owned a restaurant. Now, I knew as a assistant manager and a store manager, as I started my uh, upper management career path with Domino's Pizza, I knew the importance of consistently being there to open the restaurant at the same time every single day. And I implemented that and carried that on into having my own brand of restaurant when I left corporate in 1997 and moved into running Wins Pizza, right? I knew the importance of being consistent because here's the deal. If if my team didn't show up at 10 a.m. every morning to do the prep work, to be ready to open the doors at 11 o'clock, how many people do you think would have come to my restaurant for lunch every day if, if it was, well, they may be open at 11 or it may be 11.15 or they may not open till 12 today. Think about that as a customer coming into a restaurant. Would you show up if, you, if they were inconsistent about what time they opened? No, probably not, especially if you're having to go out of your way or you had a short window of opportunity to go to lunch, right? So consistency was the key for us having uh, the set hours and being consistent with our menu and all of that. Well, it relates into any other business that you're doing, especially with DAC. I have to be consistent with my daily activities here. I have to be consistent that I'm in business for myself. I just changed my Facebook page today. And I don't know why I haven't thought about this before, but on my personal Facebook page, it has my um, employment, right? And I've got a business page, my Ellen Wynn Entrepreneur page. And that's the page that I've had as my business. And I'm like, wait a minute, what am I thinking? I need to have my DAC business services page as my employment page, my work page, right? So I added that today. So I have my entrepreneur page tied to my Facebook page and I have my DAC business services page tied there. So now when my friends go catch, to catch up with what I've been doing, they can click on that and see, and then they can learn more about DAC business services. So hopefully that's going to help me get some more referrals to uh, a lot of friends that I've already told them what I'm doing, right? But I'm just showing them what I'm doing by by living that more openly on my Facebook page. But guys, if you if you don't have consistent activity going right now, you can rewrite your story first thing tomorrow morning. David always talks about the Etch-A-Sketch and um, the leader with longevity that taught him the Etch-A-Sketch. You may not remember these. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but Etch-A-Sketch is the little tool that you can draw with and you just shake it up and it erases everything that you drew and you start over. So he talks about doing the Etch-A-Sketch, shaking it up and starting over. You can do that as well, um, whether your if your plan is not on the path that you want it to be with the AC, or if it is, you can just ramp up or amp up 
the speed of your course here. So I see some people still coming in. Um, people get their time zones off and don't always have an opportunity to get started with us as we go live. But what I wanna do now, um, as I've talked about that, I wanna open up and see if we've got any questions or comments about anything, anything going on in your business. I know today Joni was on our leadership Zoom. She had a great question about whether to build four legs or nine legs. Which one is it? Um, as you're building the business, I say go as wide as you possibly can. Every personally enrolled agent that you bring into the business, um, keep them on your first level until you start seeing someone that is deserving of having a team under them. I've only placed two agents the whole time I've been building here. Um, I find a lot of times when you start placing agents under other agents that you get this wait and see thing going and it really doesn't create any momentum in the team. The people that are going to do are going to do the ones that aren't, aren't. So um, that was a great question today though, Joni. I see you on here tonight. All right. And Joni, I see you have your hand up now. I'm going to ask you to unmute. There you go. Thanks, Ellen. I, so while we're on that question, I really appreciate that um, because I had a follow up question to that and I didn't want to, I didn't know if it was the right forum this morning. Um, this is a tactical question. Do we have the ability in our longevity back office to decide where people go or is it an automatic placement? We sign a new agent and they just kind of are placed. Yeah, now um, that's a good question. So everybody that you personally enroll, they end up on your front line, but you have a holding tank, so to speak, for 60 days. So 60 days from the time that new person signs up, they're sitting in that, in that placement tank and you can move them anywhere in your organization that you choose to. So yeah, um, but once you've moved them, you got a one-time chance and once you've moved them, that move is done and there's no going back. So it'll ask you to confirm that you do want to move them and um, you, you just pick out the associate number that you want to place them under. Mm -hmm. Okay, I saw, I, I did watch your, um, your training on Vimeo, which was really helpful, but I wasn't clear about that one aspect. So thank you. Yeah, very good much. question. Thank you. Again, thank you, um, you know, and, and I say this, it's, all, it's your business, right? But I don't recommend that. And I, and I say that after having in-depth conversations with David Rutz about using that placement tool as well. So, okay. Yeah. And I think that's probably why I was, why I was unclear because I had, I watched David's training and I watched your training and I, so I wasn't clear. I wasn't sure. So, okay. Yeah. That gives clarification. Thank you. Yeah. So I would, I would go wide because when you, when you start seeing those teams that, you know, you need those active legs to grow and expand, you got to have at least four in your organization for the funding bonuses to be able to move through the compensation plan, uh, mm -hmm. but nine, or actually you're going to need 12 to be eligible for the car bonus with longevity. Yes. You're going to have to have 12 frontline agents that are um, at 150 per PQV, I think. It may just be 100. I'd have to go back and look at that. I have not hit car bonus qualification yet with that because there are multiple requirements in it. Um, I've hit one star with longevity, but the car bonus mm -hmm. is another level in there. But yeah, that, there's not a placement um, reason that I have found yet. And again, talking with David, uh, he said that, that he, he doesn't know of a good reason to be placing people using that placement option, so. Okay, all right, thank yeah. you very much. I but like it that you're thinking that way though. <laughs> totally i'm like i'm on a mission now so i'm i'm going full out so awesome um, well thank you tony i appreciate thank, it i'm i'm glad you. you're on, on this team <laughs> thank you likewise thank you very much and congratulations for yeah Asia you got it times. thank you hat trick <laughs> <laughs> i love it all right anybody else got questions or comments We'll have a short Zoom tonight. Um, I hope Harlequin is traveling safely. Last time I talked to her, she was still visiting with a friend, one of her um, 
college mates. And I forget if she said it was a roommate or not. Um, she was getting ready to get on the road, but had like a 13 hour drive coming home. So she said she was going to get a room somewhere and spend the night and finish the trip tomorrow. So Eugene, I see you have your hand up. I'm going to ask you to unmute. Yeah, yeah. Look, look in your inbox. I sent you the um, message Harlequin sent me. Okay. So, so she sent me um, a message. Did you send that on text or email? No, I sent it in your inbox right there on. Uh, oh, know, on chat. I got you. Actual chat. Okay. Uh, let's see. I just want to go. I just want to go ahead and say, man, this is a wonderful opportunity. A lot of new blood is coming into the business, and you know it may seem slow in recruiting right now because everybody's numbers are down. I can attest to that, especially with my team, the Legendary Renegades. I can attest with our numbers being down in recruiting. But as long as you're consistently doing something in the recruitment aspect of it, and like you said, Ellen, you're doing something every day for your business. It's planting seeds, and those seeds will eventually sprout. And when they sprout and when they bear fruit, it's going to be nice. So don't get discouraged like I know a lot of people do, but um, just keep on going. Keep being strong. Keep being thick-skinned. As the book says, what is it, thick face, black heart? I'm not going to tell you to have the black heart. Maybe a gray heart, but not a black heart. Just continue to be thick skinned, continue to go ahead and not get discouraged. And if you don't quit, you'll win. Amen to that one. That's Amen to say. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Winners never quit and quitters never win, right? You may have a short term victory. If you're a quitter, you may come in and have a short term victory. But if you're not going to stick through the ups and downs that are a part of this business, a part of any business and a part of life then well, you're you know, not gonna have success. I, I, I gotta tell you, if you're a quitter, get from around me, because I don't I don't deal with quitters. Quitters to me are bums. And I, don't, I don't deal with no bums. So do not, if you wanna quit, don't talk to me. <laughs> I'll around. second that. I'll second that on behalf of Eugene, because he tells it like it is. It, right. He fusses at me from time to time saying, Ellen, you, you're, too, you're too soft on those people. You're too soft on them. They just need Ooh, to go me? watch the training and get to work. Oh boy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate you, Eugene. Appreciate your comments. And I just read uh, the post from Harlequin. She's in a dead zone traveling right now. Apparently, she was on earlier and uh, and fell off due to connection issues, but we'll probably be back on before we wrap up. So, yeah, you know that that day to day activity I was sharing with um, what you do when I had when I had my restaurant and consistency, that day to day activity, I think. That's an important part because it, it keeps your mind focused on what is here because it's real easy for you to get off track and not do something with DAC every day and every week. And before you know it, a month has gone by. And before you know it, two months has gone by. And then six months. And then before you know it, a year has passed. But I do know, and David confirmed today, that we have people that haven't been engaged for a while. And something changes in life or something changes in their business career that brings them back around to DAC. Or maybe they see a news article or something talking about funding and it, and it spurs their memory about DAC and they come back around to see what is going on and what the latest updates are. So as long as you um, don't do anything to violate terms and conditions and you don't just quit and resign your business, You've always got the opportunity to plug back in at whatever time works for us. Speaking of that, terms and conditions, let me touch on this real quick because David brought it back up again today. We are in, in process of doing some promotions. Um, we've got a social media company that he has hired that is going to be doing social media posts that will be something that you and I can share and used to promote, or you can copy the images that they post and you don't have to share them. You'll be able to download them or just copy that image and post it on your own social media pages as if it were your own, because it's gonna be for you to use for promotion purposes, right? Done by a professional advertising company. But in that process, David has been looking at different sites out there and he's running across people using domain names that have Bank Breezy or have David Allen Capital all spelled out the full name in the domain name. You cannot do that. It is against our terms and conditions. So if you're using a domain that says David Allen Capital, 
team or whatever, um, you cannot be using it. That is a trade name and you don't have permission to use David Allen Capital. You do not have permission to use Bank Breezy as part of a domain name. Or if you have a website that you have built on your own, it cannot be David Allen Capital using the David Allen Capital Inc. logos. Anything that you do independently, you must distinguish that you're an independent agent. So use the DAC independent agent logos from the Agent Resource Center on any materials that you put out there. Of course, if you're using the corporate websites, they are already pre-approved. They have the company name in there, but it also shows your agent ID and referred by at the top of the page. So it's not as if you're um, acting as if you are the company. So I just want to make sure that you're staying on top of that. We've had um, David talked on Friday, no, Monday, about people that are violating terms and conditions. Um, I had an agent in my team that was getting some, um, some complaints on them. Those complaints were going to the, to the company. I was getting copied on those as a team leader. I've had interaction with that particular person. And it ended up in, in an agent resigning after a debate over terms and conditions. So um, make sure you understand the policies. David never wants to terminate anyone, and but you gotta follow the policies, right? And if you're not, then you're jeopardizing everybody's business because we're all under that David Allen Capital umbrella and he has to staunchly protect our brand. And that means all of us as independent agents out here, if you see somebody doing something that they shouldn't be doing that would jeopardize our brand, then let them know or bring it to uh, the attention of our agent support team and let them know so that they can go police that. And if it's a violation, then they can approach and find out who that agent is. Because we've got all got to work together to protect this brand for years and years to come. Um, but it, it, as we bring on more new agents, more new agents are out here promoting before they even go through training. Um, they're talking about our services when they really don't know what they're talking about. So we kind of have to corral them back in and get, get the right information out there. Okay. All right. Anybody else have any questions before we wrap up questions or comments? I don't see anybody unmuting themselves. Gosh, we've got a good looking group on here tonight. I appreciate you guys showing up. And a lot of you are showing out with the numbers that you're posting on the board, whether it be recruiting numbers or whether it be new funded clients or um, new customer finance clients that are coming on board. I've seen some payment processing quotes coming in. I haven't seen or heard a lot of people talking about healthcare, but remember, we're in that healthcare season right now. So if you've got small business owners that you have a relationship with, I would ask them, what is it that you're doing for healthcare right now? What are you doing for healthcare for your employees? It opens that conversation for them to get a quote and get their teams on our healthcare plan going into the new year. So they can get started at any time. All right, guys, I don't see anybody else with a hand up or a question or a comment. One last chance for you to speak or we will close it out a little bit early tonight. Ellen, I'm, I'm raising my hand on behalf of someone in the chat you might not have seen. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, thank you. Demi and Noel said that um, their child is sleeping and so can't necessarily talk. They want to know if they can type it in the chat, the question. Yeah, absolutely. But make it quick because we're about to wrap up. I don't have anybody else talking. So if you heard right. that, yes, type your question in the chat. I should have said that earlier. I'm so used to Harlequin taking that lead and running with it. Again, I appreciate Pam stepping in, but um, she's not done the co-host thing before. And we actually had to do a, a run through of how to, um, how to do the co-host before we got started. So Can the question, the, can you see the question? It says, I'm trying to advertise on Craigslist. Uh, are there any ideas we can use as just starting out with no clients? That was the question. Yeah, absolutely. So send me an email to workwithellen at gmail.com and 
tell me what you're looking for with Craigslist and I'll send you some information because I have a whole training on that. You probably haven't run across it yet, but send me an email and I'll be glad to get that out to you, okay? Thank you for the question. And thank you, Joni, for reading that question out of the chat. I appreciate you. All right, guys, everybody, y'all have a great evening. I'll send this replay out once uh, Zoom has, has it ready to go. I'll post it out on YouTube. As, I, as If you haven't already, sign up, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get any new notifications there and you'll be able to catch all the replays live on YouTube, okay? Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you on the next Zoom. Have a great night. Thank you.